So I just counted and I've tried over 70 different tennis strings, most of which have been polyester strings. And I feel like I've barely even scratched the surface of what's out there. So in today's video, we're gonna go over my favorite polyester strings of all time, breaking them down into six different categories, power, control, spin, durability, budget, and best overall. Each category is going to have three options in no particular order unless specifically mentioned. So let's get right into it first with our power options. So any string video would be incomplete without mentioning Luxlon Alley Power. It is the OG. It does provide so much zip off the string bed if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of playability duration. Most people don't get more than one to two hours of premium play out of this string, but it's one of the most popular strings on the professional tour for a reason. One thing to note is string pricing can vary greatly depending on your region. I am here in Canada. We don't have as good selection in this country and our Amazon isn't as strong as what you have in the US. So, so I'm not going to talk about pricing too much unless I know for a fact that a certain string is generally cheaper or generally more expensive as it just changes so much from country to country. The next string is Signum Pro Firestorm. This is a great cheaper option when compared to ALU Power. It doesn't play as amazingly right off the gate, which also means that the playability drop off isn't so severe. You get tons of punch right off the string, but it feels really crisp, like many of those more metallic, silvery gold strings do, a feeling that I definitely associate with power strings. It is a round string, so spin is moderate at best, but it is stiffer, which lends itself well to solid durability. And the third option is kind of a cop out to be honest, but if you're really looking for a powerful polyester string, you should really consider hybriding with natural gut. If you're not a string breaker, it's impossible to beat natural gut. You'll get unmatched power, unmatched forgiveness throughout the string bed, but also your launch angle is going to be a lot more consistent than when compared to other polyester strings. Given how polyester strings can go dead, going with natural gut can end up actually saving you money. If you're the kind of player who only strings two or three times in a year, that playability drop off is going to just fall off a cliff. On the other hand, natural gut stays consistent. It stays amazing in your racket. This is especially good if you live in more stable climates that aren't so wet or cold. So that's my cop out answer for that one. I like the Bablat Tonic range of guts because they're a little bit cheaper. They're factory seconds for the VS Natural Gut, which is the prime of the prime, one of the best strings ever made. So next up, I wanna talk control. Now when it comes to control, I'm thinking of strings that have a consistent launch angle, strings that have a lower launch angle. I find that feels more control oriented and also generally more of a dead feel. So not quite as crisp and springy feeling when compared to the power option. So the first one is going to be Bablat RPM Power. Now this is a super unique string. If you string your own rackets or you feel strings, this one feels like no other. It sounds really weird, kind of squeaky when you pull tension. And it's got this rough coating that's almost sandpapery, but not like a rough textured string. It's got a really unique feel, one of the lowest launch angles in any string I've ever tried next to, honestly, next to Kevlar. I've, on, I've tried both the blue and the brown colors. I think the brown looks pretty cool, to be honest. And whenever I'm trying to tame, like very open pattern racket like a pure drive a pure strike this is the string that i go to to get that launch angle down and bring some consistency into the playing experience that said it is not the cheapest option so in general you'll find selenko confidential which is my next choice to be a little bit more affordable this is a evolution of hyper g i think it's deader feeling more control oriented it plays more consistently the edge doesn't seem quite as pronounced Announced, which brings that launch angle down. This is one of my go-to favorite strings, and if I had to play a match to save my life, 
I would be okay using Selenko Confidential. And the last one on my list, but definitely not least, is my personal string of choice, which is Grapple Snake Tour Sniper. This brings in that slightly crisper feel that you get from metal-based strings like ALU Power. It brings it in in a very control-oriented dead but slightly softer feeling package i feel like this is one of the most consistent performers on the market speaking with the guys at grapple snake their priority is to make sure strings perform at the top top level and i feel like there's a trickle down effect so if you can trust that string to perform on the most intense shots that you experience in your game it's most likely to play well when you're not feeling so good Either. For Grapple Snake Tour Sniper, I do have affiliate links for those as well as other Grapple Snake or Restring options in the description. That's one of the reasons I'm doing a top three list because I don't want you to feel like all my answers are affiliate link answers. But if you do decide to make a purchase from one of those strings, it does help out the channel, which goes a long way into securing the production of more and better content in the future. Okay, so next up, durability. The first string I really want to talk about, one that's been very hyped on social media and recently I gave a very good review on this channel, is Restring Zero. It is super slippery, it's got an amazing slick coating which really prolongs the life of this string. And when I'm thinking durability, I'm not just thinking how long does it take to break, I'm also thinking about how well this string plays over time. Does it maintain its tension? Does it maintain its snapback? And Restring Zero does both amazingly. It's one of the least resistant strings to notching I've ever tried, especially for something that has that much of an edge. For the durability options, this is one of the most spin-friendly routes that you can go. The next is gonna be Grapple Snake Tour M8. And unlike Restring Zero, Tour M8 is not coated with anything like a silicone material. It's got that lubricated material actually infused into the string itself. So even when some notching does start to occur, you'll still retain very good snapback. This is another great spin friendly string, but it has more smooth out edges, which leads to a more consistent response when compared to Restring Zero, but also it does prevent notching a little bit. I think this string also performs amazingly at lower tension. If you haven't tried Tour M8 before, I would look at reducing tension by about 10% compared to what you're usually used to. A lot of players are finding this string plays great between 40 and 45 pounds. And last up, we have another classic Luxalon 4G. This is a more expensive option, and for that reason, it's not part of my normal rotation. But it's super stiff, which really helps with both tension maintenance and um, resistance to breaking, especially on those off-center hits if you catch the frame near 12 o'clock. Sometimes you can get some premature breakage. 4G is super stiff, so that kind of stuff just doesn't happen. It's probably the most consistent playing string of these durability strings that I've listed because it's round and it's really been engineered for maximum control and durability. I think 4G is definitely worth a try if you're looking for super control, super durability. All right, so next up we have spin. Now for me and my game, the string that's helped produce some of the most spin ever has been Grapple Snake Game Changer. It comes in two colors. I've only tried the green, but if you do go with the silver, that has some metal additives in it, so it will have a little bit more of a crisper, springy response off the string bed. It's pretty soft and it is square shaped. Note to whoever stringing square shaped strings is not very fun to use. Um, but considering that it's square shaped and softer, the response off the string bed is very consistent. I think you're getting a more consistent launch angle when compared to like Grapple Snake's Neon Dust Hybrid, for example. But also one of the classic strings, which would be Wise Cannon Ultra Cable. I think you get a more consistent response. There are some pros, like lower level pros, which I'll post on the screen here, who have also decided to make the switch to this string, um, which is pretty interesting because you don't see a lot of those crazy shaped strings at the professional level given how inconsistent and high that launch angle can be. The next string that I hit absolutely massive spin with was Tier 1 Firewire Boost. Now I haven't talked a lot about Tier 1 strings on this channel and while they do come in at an amazing price point, I find that their playability duration just isn't 
great. And it wasn't really the tension maintenance that caused me an issue with tier one Firewire Boost, but rather it was the notching that occurred. Firewire, which is the orange main strings, are triangular shaped. And even though the cross string, which is ghost wire, is very slick and round, because that triangular shape is so aggressive, notching happens pretty quickly. For me, it really seriously notched in only like 45 minutes of medium pace hitting. And when that notching stops, you get so much contact area between the main and cross strings that snapback reduces significantly and you don't quite get that same kind of spring off the string bed. But for those first couple hits, this string gave me insane spin. And the last one that I wanna talk about is kind of the opposite um, of tier one firewire boost and that's restring zero again, um, some of the best combination of a good sharp edge playability duration and amazing snapback. Especially if you have slightly lower swing speeds, it's really easy to get this string to snap up and down to give you that little bit of extra spin. I think this is one of the most like intermediate slash beginner friendly polys out there. Okay, so second to last category is budget. And I assume this is gonna be a pretty hyped category because I think we all hate spending like 20, 30 bucks on a set of Luxlon strings. That's definitely never something that I've been interested in. I've always felt like you should try to keep that price of polyester as low as you can, as there are so many amazing budget options out there. First, I wanna talk about an absolute classic in the budget option. I've gone through so many reels of this string and that is Golden Set Snake Bite. Okay, sure, it's super stiff and it's definitely been known to kill your wrist but I think you can drop the tension a little bit and because it's so stiff, you still get great control. That's a super aggressively edged shaped, twisted 17 gauge string. And in Canada, at least it's like 120 bucks real on Amazon, which is unbelievable. That price per set is coming in super low. I think Snakebite is definitely one you can't sleep on. Next up is Tourna Silver 7 Tour. Now this string nicely is pretty widely available and I think it's one of the best performers for the money. The tension maintenance is at the top of the list on Tennis Warehouse's string database, which is really nice. It has a little bit of a firmer feel. It's still crisp. It has a little bit of a shape, but it's super mild. So you're getting a little bit of extra spin when compared to a round string, but you're getting great control compared to something more aggressive. This is definitely gonna be better for a more advanced player at snapbacks, not amazing. So it does take some swing speed and force to get this string to perform well. But even on some of the most intense hitting sessions, I feel like this is a top control string that I can really trust to perform well. And last up is Tour Status from Tier 1. Tier one is a classic budget brand. I've tried a couple of their strings and I found that tour status gave me the most predictable response and pretty decent tension maintenance. That was my problem with tier one Black Knight, which I know a lot of you have had great success with, but for me, the tension maintenance with Black Knight just dropped off a cliff. Um, it was a little bit softer and mushier than I prefer, but if you're looking for that more ballpacking feel, it's definitely a good option and they constantly have sales on tier one's website. So next I wanna move on to some honorable mentions before we finish off the round with the best overall picks and that's going to be Babla RPM Power. This string is actually really interesting. If you look on the Tennis Warehouse string database, it's got an incredibly low coefficient of friction for string on string movement. I actually think RPM Rough plays a lot better and plays a lot longer when compared to RPM Blast, though it is definitely feeling a little bit more powerful. I really like the launch angle off the string bed of a rough based of a rougher texture string. I think it's super consistent and played really well, though I did break it pretty quickly and it's not that cheap. Next one is definitely gonna be Yonex Poly Tour Pro. I would be flamed if I didn't mention this string. It's definitely one of the best options out there when it comes to something that's a little bit more comfortable. It is more muted feeling, so I don't find it goes into my rotation that often, but that combination of soft feel and muted sensations means that this string can be go great with both um, 
nylon hybrids, but also to tame a little bit of harshness in stiffer rackets, like some of those E-Zones that have come out lately. Those are my two honorable mentions before we go on to best overall. Now, these are the strings that I would trust to play a match to save my life. These are strings that I would love to play a tournament with. And for me, my number one priority is control and consistency. I really want to trust that string to perform under pressure. I also, in general, like a little bit of a crisper feel from a metal-based string and a little bit of extra spin from a mild shape, but nothing too crazy. So these ones are actually going to be in order from um, third place to first place. So third place is going to be Selenko Confidential. And the reason it's not higher is because it doesn't have that more crisper feel, it has more of a deader, more muted feel, similar to like RPM Blast or Vocal Cyclone. And in almost every racket I try, I have success with it. The next is Tournet Silver 7 Tour. Especially given that this is a budget option, it's unreal. It is a little bit stiffer feeling. I would like a little bit softer ball pocketing, which is why this isn't the number one string but in every other metric it's pretty close to Selenko Confidential that mild shape super predictable super trustworthy and a great price what more could you ask for all right so the last one the one you've all been waiting for and probably if you've been watching my videos probably the one that you knew was coming my favorite string of all time and the number one string that i would pick if my life was on the line is grapple snake tour sniper it's got a softer feel when compared to silver 7 tour it's got that crispness when compared the Selenko Confidential, and it's super consistent. This string has never let me down. It holds its tension amazingly well, plays great until you get a decent notch in it. For me, that happens and depends on the intensity of my hitting, but if I'm playing really well, that will happen in five hours. If I'm playing crap, it will happen in 10 hours. This is one of my favorite strings. Link is in the description. If you're looking for a control-oriented string, this is an absolute must try. Let me know if I've missed your favorite string. I'm sure I have. There are so many different strings on the market and we'll see you in the next video.